everybody, it's Miss Alexa. This is your virtual uh, mini and top ballet class for the week. So we're actually gonna start with a few stretches. So you can just sit on the floor, stretch those feet out in front of you, really straight legs, make sure they're glued together, toes pointed, and make sure you're sitting up nice and tall, long spine. And now let's lift those toes flex. And point. And flex. Really flex as hard as you can. Point. Flex. Point. One more time. Flex. And point. Let's point one. Flex one. And switch. And switch. And switch. And switch. Switch. Make sure you're still sitting up nice and tall. Switch, flex them both. Feet together, and we're gonna open, turn out, first position, and close. And turn out, first position, and close. And turn out, first, and close. One more time, turn out, first, and close. Point those feet, lift up tall, take a deep breath. Exhale, fold over, 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Roll up. Feet together, butterfly. Sitting up tall and folding forward. Ten seconds. Try to keep those knees down. One, two, three, four, five, six. Try to get a little lower. Eight, nine, and ten. Good. Opening to our straddle. Make sure these legs stay nice and straight and knees are pointing towards the ceiling. We don't want any feet turning and rolling forward. Yeah, and nice pointed feet. And let's take our right arm, reach to the side. Nice and long. Try not to crumple up. Really reach that spine long, long, long. And turn towards your leg, nose on your knee. And stay there. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. And big reach to the other side. Make sure this hip stays on the floor. We don't want it to come off. Good. Feel a nice stretch. And turn, nose on your knee. Go forward, really watch those knees here. Don't let them fall forward when you reach in the center. Let's do eight more seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Shake those legs up, bring them in, bring them in. Okay, so we are gonna start at the bar. So whatever you may have for your ballet bar, I'm gonna use a chair. And I want us to face our bar. So maybe I'll go like this so you can kind of see. Yeah? So we're gonna face the bar, we're gonna do our plie. So we're gonna start in first position. I'll just face you to show so you can see, yeah? So we'll be facing our bar, first position. We're gonna go demi plie. Heels stay on the floor. Stretch. Again, demi plie and stretch. We're gonna do our grand plie, which passes through our demi plie. So we make sure we go to our demi plie first, and then as we keep getting lower, that's when our heels can come off. Still standing nice and tall in our spine. Push those heels down, find your demi plie again, and stretch. Yeah, so two demis in the ground. Demi, and stretch, and demi, and stretch, grand plie, and six, and seven, and eight, second position, same thing. Now our heels cannot come off the ground, not even for ground plie. Demi, and stretch, push those knees to the side. And stretch, ground plie, and six. Make sure we only get to parallel. You don't wanna be sitting down here. That's too low for a ground plie. 
We want to be here where our muscles have to work nice and hard and coming up. We're going to put our right leg front in fifth and just do four demi plies. Heel stay on the ground. One, stretch. Two, stretch. Three, stretch. Four, stretch. Change legs. Four demi plies. Two, three, four. We're going to go back to first and just find a little balance facing the bar, okay? And so for all these plies, really focus on lifting up nice and tall. No booty sticking out when we do our plie, okay? Lifting up tall. So standing at our bar, nice first position, nice and lifted. Really, heel 
go forward, stretch that leg, point your foot, lots of energy. Time to side, heel forward, close it back. Make sure it crosses all the way back there. Really cross your fit. Three, and close. Four, time to back. Keep this leg straight, that's the tricky part. And close. Two, straight leg, close. Three, good. Keep working these tummy muscles, standing up tall. Side, closing front. Side, close front in fifth. Side, close front. Cross those fifths. Three, and four. Good, rise up. Bring those feet in. Tight two suit position. Those legs should be stretching, stretching, stretching. And your spine should be lifting tall, 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 tall. If you want, you can let go. Good, balancing, guys. We have to take our foot, step back out, and come down. Good. Yeah? So for our susu, when we rise up, we have to bring that foot in to be nice and tight. But we can't go back down there or we're going to step on our foot and end up crossed. So we have to open it back down, up, so we can go down to our fifth position. Okay? So we're going to do that whole thing to the left. Our left leg will start in front. Four times do front with your left leg. Four times do side. Really cross that fifth position. I want us to really focus on our fifth position today. So make sure you really get it all the way back there, yeah? Not just halfway. Really cross those legs. Four times do back. And then four times do side again. And now we're crossing front. Ending in your best fifth position every time. Then we rise up into our susu. We pull that foot in. We're going to take our balance. And then to come down, we step our foot out and find our fifth again. Okay? So let's try the left. Six, seven, lifting up tall. Eight, left leg, tendu. Close fifth. And two, tight fifth positions. And then three. And four. Good. Side, heel forward, close it back. Cross it behind. Time to cross behind. Three. Good. Try to keep both legs really straight. Arabesque. Good. Think of the side of the big toe on the floor. So not the top of the foot. The side of your big toe. Side again. Check that heel. Make sure it's nice and forward. Closing front this time. Close. Make sure those fists are crossed. Good. Rise up. Bring those feet in. Tight two suit. No gaps. Squeeze those legs together. Nice and strong. You can let go and find that balance. Good job. Try to get all the wobbles out. Lift up in those tummy muscles. Good. And you can grab the bar. Take a little step up so you can come down and fit and do a little plie. Good job, guys. Positions. I know that one is a tricky one, so just keep working on it. All right, so now we're going to do debuches, but we're just going to do them from first. So first position, right leg. We're all going to do our only our right leg to start. We're going to do three debuches. One, and close. Two, and close. Three, and close. Instead of the fourth debuche, we're just going to lift, come back, put it down. Yeah? So our knee is going to the side, coupe, toes to the ankle, and down. So we're gonna work on finding that coupe position right away. So you gotta know exactly what part of your leg your toe is gonna touch. Right at that ankle, pointed and turned out. All right, so we'll be facing the bar, but I'll keep showing facing you, then we'll go side. One, and close, two, and close, three, and close, coupe, and close. Back. And close, two, and a three, coupe, side again, one, and a two, and a three, and coupe, put it down, yeah? So coupe, side, on the, right on the side of your leg, toe to your knee. So three debuges front, coupe, and close first. Three debuges side, coupe, and close first. Three debuges back. 
coupe and close first. Three, dagge side, coupe and close first. Okay? So we're gonna get a lot of coupe practice in there. All right, standing first position. <clears throat> Let me make, check this music. All right, ready? First position, right leg. Everything with your right leg. Dagge, close first. Two. Side, 
marker. That toe being your marker, drawing a big circle. And you want to trace the same big circle every time, okay? So even though we get faster, I don't want your circle to get smaller. It's supposed to be nice and big. All right? Let's try the left. Standing first position, lifting up tall. Seven, eight, left leg, front, side, back, lift into first, standing tall, front, side, back, a little quicker, front, side, back, first, front, side, back, first, coupe lifts into passing, back to coupe, and first, reverse, back, side, front, first. Two more. 
your bar out of the way. Good. All right. Shake, shake, shake. Woo, feel those muscles working, huh? So now we're gonna do our bores. And our bores are in our susu position that we worked in earlier. Yeah, so this tight fifth position with no gaps, that's what we're gonna stay in, okay? And as you move across the floor, I don't want your feet to open up. They have to stay crossed together the whole time, okay? So we're gonna start going to the right. So I want you to put your right arm out. That leg, same, that leg is gonna go in the front and that arm is gonna go up. So you have your right leg front, your right arm up. We're gonna go into that tight susu position and we're gonna take baby steps all the way across. See my legs, they're not opening up, they're staying closed. Don't do any opens like this. So you really wanna think of your back leg going first, back leg, back leg. So you can keep these thighs nice and crossed the whole time. All right, so let's do maybe two to the right, and I'll put on some music. Good. So you have your right arm, right leg. Right leg goes in front, right arm goes up, and we go into our susu, and go ahead, baby steps across. Good, keep those feet crossed, little baby steps, lifting up tall. And go the other way. 
If you need to go slower, go slower. That's okay. Make sure you have nice, clean legs. And when you're done, go one more time. Each side. Hold that first position in your legs. Good. Like that. Push down into that floor every time you step. Strong legs. Good. One more time. Keep going even though I'm not doing it. Really feel those legs pushing down into the floor. Strong, strong, strong. No bent legs. And one more time. Really find something in a spot. And every time you come around, look at it. Make sure you finish that shunning all the way. And as you finish your second side, you can do a little plie to finish. Good job. All right. So we are gonna do a little jump. We are gonna do four jumps in first, four jumps in second, and then we're gonna repeat it, okay? So I wanna actually focus on our arms, since we just did all that focus on our legs. Let's focus on our arms in this combination. When we are in first, we have nice round arms, and I really wanna make sure that they're not bouncing up and down. You have to hold them strong in your first position as you're jumping, okay? And make sure it's a really nice circle shape. Yeah, you don't want it too long or too bent. Try to make a beautiful circle that is no, nice and smooth, no sharp edges to it, okay? So we're gonna do four jumps in first. One, two, three, holding those arms. When we jump to second, we're gonna open our arms to second. One, don't let them fly. No droopy elbows. Two, three, four. Back to first, four more. One, two, three, four. Second again, one, two, three, four, okay? Nice arms through that whole thing. So let's do that with music. Four jumps in first, four jumps in second, four jumps in first, four jumps in second. <clears throat> Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
So from your last jump in second, your first shunt to when you close, put that right leg in front and then you can keep changing. All right, four in first, four in second, eight shanjamas, last thing of the day. <clears throat> Oops, sorry. Seven, eight, one, two, three, open a second, one, two, three, right leg front, shanjama, one, two, three, four, keep going. Point those feet. Good job. Seven, eight. Good. Woo. Those legs might be tired, huh? All right. That was excellent work. Good job, guys. I'll see you next week.